Welcome to another free Microsoft Excel tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In today's free lesson, I'm going to show you a complex if example. This Excel question comes to me from Eric. He says, we're a chamber of commerce with a complicated due structure. Can you help me to figure out how to calculate dues based on the total number of employees using the following table? The first five employees the company has charges the company $165 total. The next five adds $5 per employee, the next 15 $4 employee, and so on. And over 50 adds $2 per employee. So if you get 65 employees in your company, you pay $350, which is $165 plus $25 plus $60. And Eric, I can see where this would be a very difficult formula to come up with something simple to calculate these dues in Excel. I've broken it down right here in a little table and it is kind of complicated. All right, the first five employees is this much, the next five is five dollars per employee, the next fifteen adds four, the next twenty adds three, and then over fifty, because right here brings you to forty-five, over fifty adds two. So in order to figure this out, we're not going to be able to just use one simple calculation. And I'm not even going to try and put it in one cell. What we're going to do to calculate this is break it down across several columns and you'll see how we'll do it in just a second. So let's start with a list of companies and number of employees here. We'll just say a list of 1, 5, 7, 10, and so on, just so we can see that our calculations are working correctly. Okay, now if I'm reading your chart correctly, the first five employees cost the company 165 regardless. So for everybody in here, they're getting 165. So after that first five employees, we need to figure out how many employees are left to still keep charging on. So I'll say this is my remainder. I'll just call it remain. And here I'm going to say what is the difference between the number of employees and five. So I'll just say in this cell equals A2 minus five. Enter. Now this one comes out as negative four, but that's okay. We'll ignore anything less than zero in just a second. So here I can see a list of how many employees I still have to charge for. All right, so next I have to figure out the next five employees. Because if we look at our formula, the next five employees is $5 per employee. So what we're going to say here is equals if. All right, first we have to say if this number here, which is C2, is greater than 0, all right, if it's 1 or more, then put some value here. What's going to go here? Well, if C2 is greater than 5, comma, just put a 25 here, right? Because 5 times 5, $5 is 25. So if there's more than 5 people left, just charge them the 25 bucks. Otherwise, comma, it's going to be C2 times 5. All right, close it up, comma, 0, and enter. Now if we drag this down, you can see these companies down here are going to all get charged the 25 bucks. But this company has only two employees left after the first five, so they get charged 10. Right? This company here has the full five. Let's change this to nine and see what happens. All right, there we go. It only charged them 20. Right? If it's zero, or less than zero, just put a zero in there. That's what that first if statement says. The inner statement is basically checking to see if they've got more than the next five people. All right, and I'll color this cell green as well, this column. Now what kind of a remainder do we have left now? Well, the next remainder is going to be equals C2 minus five. All right, we've taken five more people off. All right, drag that down. That's how many people are left to keep checking. Now, this error comes up here. And you can ignore this. This is Excel 2007. Okay, it says inconsistent formula, which basically means that the formula around these cells aren't quite consistent. Because this one's referring to C, this one's referring to A, right? This one just has a number in it. So I don't particularly like this error message, and you can turn this off, and I'll show you how to do that in my classes but you can just ignore it for now. Essentially, it's, it's expecting every 
column to be related to the certain other columns around it. Like D refers to C, E refers to D, F refers to E, and so on. Again, it's kind of a bogus error message. Okay, but now we know that here, for example, we have 10 more employees we still have to charge for. That's how many are left. So right now they're getting charged 165 plus 25, and we still got 10 more to figure out. So the next 15, right, that's what was on your chart. Let's take a look. Right, the next 15 get charged $4 per. Okay, so what's this going to look like? Well, same thing. If E2, right, that's where my last remainder was, is greater than 0, then we're going to figure out some value. Okay, if it's not, comma, put a 0 there. We'll just close that up to show you that right now. Okay, so let's figure out what's going in the middle here. If E2 2 is greater than 15. If there's more than 15 people left, just put the total value in here, which is 60, right? It's going to be $4 per times 15 people. So that's $60. Okay? Otherwise, comma, put in here E2 times 4. How many people are left times $4 a piece? Now these get ignored, but if we drag this down, there's our numbers. All right, let's change this to 21. Okay, they get charged 165 plus, all right, there's 16 remaining. So $25 for the next five. There's 11 remaining now, so $4 a piece for them. So now here's our next layer of having to be paid. All right, what's our remainder left now? Well, we've got equals E2 minus, we just chopped off 15 employees. All right, so drag that down. That's how many are left. Finally, we've got the next 20. Not finally, but the next column is the next 20. All right, let's take a peek. The next 20 get charged $3 per. So it's essentially the same thing. In fact, I'm going to copy this, copy and paste, and just adjust this formula. I'll do it right up here. All right, and in fact, Excel changed some of the references for us automatically. If G2 is greater than 0, right? If G2 is greater than, now we got 20 employees to deal with, and it's going to be 20 times $3 a piece, so that's 60 is fine, but we've got to change this to 3. All right, enter, drag that down. All right, that's how much more we have to charge now. Let's figure out our next remainder. All right, equals G2 minus 20. We just chopped off 20 more employees. Now the last condition you said was over 50 employees is just $2 per employee, regardless of how many more there are. So we'll come in here and say the rest of them. Now this will be a little bit simpler. We're going to say equals if, where are we at now, I2 is greater than 0, comma, it's going to be I2 times $2. Otherwise, put a zero there. Click, drag that down. All right, let's colorize it. So now the total is going to be basically add up all those green cells. Okay, it's going to be equals, what do we got? B2 plus D2 plus F2 plus H2, and yes, you can just click on them, but I'm going to type them in, plus J2, and that equals 165 for that first company. Drag that down, and there's our number. Now, you said 65 in your example was 350, right? 165 plus 25 plus 60 plus 60 plus 40 is 350. If you enjoyed this free tip, there are lots more at my website www.excellearningzone.com YouTube viewers, you can watch my full hour-long Microsoft Excel 101 course by visiting excellearningzone.com slash YouTube.